Okay friends, so before we get started on this job, it's important to remember you're going to want to get yourself a four-wheel alignment afterward. So to get started on this job, one of the first things we're going to have to do is get right over here. This is where the nuts are going to be that hold the shock to your body. If you were to look underneath this plastic, that's where they're going to be. So you can grab this little tool, come right in here, just pop this. Now if you were to take a peek in there, you're going to be able to see those mounting nuts. This is a very easy way to get to them, and it's the least amount of work. There is another way that you can get to them. If you wanted to, you could take off this whole plastic cowl right there. Something to keep in mind about that though, is you're going to have to remove your wiper arms as well. Now assuming you're going to be removing the whole plastic cowl, like I said, you're going to have to remove your wiper arm. If you were to come right underneath this plastic cap, you can lift this up. So now we'll take special note of the area where the wiper blade's going to be sitting, because that's where we're going to want to put it back to. Now you're going to remove your 14 millimeter nut. Set that aside. So now you just wiggle this around, it should want to break free, and then draw it right up and off. Do the same to the passenger side. If you were to come along the bottom corner of the windshield, you're going to find this little rubber flap. Just go ahead and grab onto that, pull it right off, do the same to the other side of the vehicle. If you were to look along the front area of this cowl, you're going to see these little push clips. When you look at them, you're going to see a little dot in the center. If you press down on that center part, you can go ahead and lift up on the outer part and set these aside. Do the same down the line. Now if you come along the passenger side, you're going to see this little rubber hose. That's for your washer nozzles. It's going to pump the washer fluid through. Just go ahead and grab onto it, give it a little wiggle. You don't necessarily want to draw it out any further than that, but if you come right here, you can separate the hose from the plastic. Nice and easy, don't tear it. Set that aside someplace where you can remember to reconnect it. Let's go ahead and pull this away from the windshield a little bit. And then we're just going to lift it up carefully. If you feel as though anything's sticking down, like this area right here, we're just going to see if we can pull that up and out without destroying it in any way. There we are. We're going to have to do the same to the other side real quick. Just give it a little wiggle. Should want to break free. Okay. Go ahead and remove your cowl. The next thing I like to do is just loosen all three of the nuts for the shock. You don't have to make them very loose, just break them free. I'll do the same to the other side of the vehicle. The next thing you want to do is raise and support the vehicle so your front wheels are off the ground. We're going to remove our 21 millimeter lug nuts on both sides of the vehicle and remove the wheels. Now that the wheel's off, we have a clear view of our sway bar link right here. Let's go ahead and remove this nut right there using a 17 millimeter. If you were also to use a 17 millimeter wrench, you can go in on the back side and you should find an area where it'll set right in. Hold that wrench, remove the nut. Wiggle that around, there we are. The next thing we're gonna do is remove this 12 millimeter bolt right here. Go ahead and set that bolt aside. Make sure that you have plenty of slack right there. The next thing we're going to do is remove these bolts right here. You're going to use a 17 millimeter wrench on the bolt side and then a 19 millimeter to remove the nuts. Go ahead and give those bolts a little spin. Make sure they're broken free. Something to pay attention to before you remove both bolts is after you do, this is going to want to pull away. You want to make sure it doesn't pull too far because you could damage your axle and or put a tug on your ABS wires or brake hose. I can give these a light bonk. Okay. Just wiggle this around so you can pull the bolts out. Now pay special attention, like I said, this is going to want to come down. You can kind of ease it down and then separate the two and just set it aside. Just be careful, like I said, not to put a tug on anything. Next thing we're going to do is remove these three 14 millimeter nuts. You just want to make sure you're holding onto that shock so it doesn't fall down and cause damage. Do one, two, all right, here we go. Hold onto that shock. Now we're going to carefully let it down and remove it. Go ahead and grab onto your shock. We're going to grab it and put it up through the holes in the body. If I can get it lined up here. Okay. 
I like to use a little bit of thread locker, but we'll call it your prerogative. Let's just bottom out these nuts. Now let's torque these to 54 foot pounds. We're gonna grab those bolts and we're gonna lift this up and slide it in here and then we'll put our bolts through from the front to the back. Just move it around a little bit, get it lined up. Okay, that one started. Awesome, a little bit of thread locker. and take those nuts, start them right on there. We're gonna go ahead and hold the bolt side with our 17 millimeter and we're just gonna snug up these 19 millimeter nuts. It's gonna be time to torque these down. Torque them to 130 foot pounds. Load with my wrench just in case. This one. Torqued. I went ahead and I'm going to replace the bolt here. Start that in there. Okay, snug it up. So now we're going to get the upper portion of the sway bar link into here. If for some reason it doesn't want to match up, you could just use a little bit of leverage. I'm going to carefully come in between the tie rod and the sway bar, bring it down so it lines up, and go ahead and slide it through. Take your nut. Start it right on there. Now it's gonna be time to bottom this out. Let's take our 17 millimeter. It's on here. Now we're gonna to torque this to 87 foot pounds. There it is. All right, so now it's gonna be time to get the wheel up on here. But before we go ahead and do that, just double check everything. Make sure that you torqued everything that needs to be torqued. And of course your ABS wire and your brake hose is nice and secure. Once you've done that, go ahead and grab your wheel. We're going to start on all the lug nuts, bottom them out, and then we'll torque them to manufacturer's specifications. Now it's going to be time to torque your lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds. Go crisscross. Torqued. It'll be time to get the cowl back on. If you were to look down along here, you're going to see some little hooky-doos. Those need to go underneath the windshield. Carefully bring this up here, on one side at a time, squeeze it by. Okay, get this lined up. Now I'm going to tip it up and then slide it forward. Feels good. Feel along the top. If it feels like it's raised away from the windshield, more than likely you didn't get the hooky do underneath the windshield. This feels great. My holes are lined up. Let's continue. Take a look at it. Perfect. Grab this, slide it in. We have our handful of little push clips here. You want to make sure you have them in the unlock position. That means that the center tab is up. If it's pressed down, just go ahead and force it up. Line it up in the hole. Lock it in. Do the same down the line. Put that last clip in. Let's make sure we get this hose back attached. Slide it right in. Give it a nice tug. Perfect. Time to get these corner pieces in. Let's so get it up here. Should all press together fairly easily. Click it in. Perfect. Do the same to the other side. Now it's going to be time to get the wiper arms back on here in case you happen to mix them up. You can look right down along here. You're going to see a DR for the driver's side, and on the other one, you see a PA for passenger side. Or if you were to look at the wiper blades, the driver's side is going to be the longer of the two. With that said, I'm going to come right over here, set this approximately where it was on the windshield, press it down like that. Now we're going to start on our nut. Now we're going to snug it up. Make sure it's nice and snug. Do the same to the passenger side. Okay, so now that we have those on, Let's go ahead and test them to make sure they come up to the right height. We're also going to test the squirter. 
You want to pay special attention to up at the top to make sure that the wiper blade doesn't come over and hit up against the body. And of course, down on the other side, you want to make sure that it doesn't come over and hit anywhere over there as well. This looks great. Let's get our little caps back on here. Perfect. Give this a wiggle. Everything's secured. Our hose is definitely on. Perfect. Close the hood. Take it for a road test.